of us go live. Do you want me to do you want me to call out those chords more with it or you got it? Yes, more? Okay. Uh let me make sure we're going here. We are. Alright, um and why don't I start out a little slower too? Yeah? I'll start I'll start slower and speed up as we go. Um so more like around there. Sound good? Okay, cool. Here it comes. Starting on one. Sample chords for Rose and the Heather. One, two, ready, go. One. Four. I said I would. I'll slow down again and play it one time now, naming the chords for you. There it is, starting on D, which is your one, but I'll call it D. Ready, go. D. Check in before I play it a bunch more. Are folks finding that or should I call out chords some more? Can you talk to him? Yes. Talk to him. Um we're slowly getting it. Okay. <laughs> slowly getting it. Okay, maybe I'll maybe I'll just play it some and call out chords in a little bit to give you a chance to locate them yourself if they're if they're locked. Okay, thanks. Yeah, sounds good. So you want to continue to and, and as you get them, fill you can of course fill in those patterns. 
Um, hey, Takako, good to see you. We are we are um, applying, trying to apply chords to a jig, um, and if that is uh, feels too advanced or not like something that you can get at, um, what I'd really encourage you to work on is uh, finding the parts of the tune. So remember that when we talked about accompaniment techniques, the last time we talked about the crucial importance of hearing the A part when it repeats and also hearing the halves of the A part and B part. Um, so see if you can identify those portions um, if, if finding the chords isn't gonna happen. Okay, I'll loop it some more at this medium tempo. I'll call out the chords after a few times doing that and then I'll move to a faster tempo. Cool. Cool, here it comes. Um, slower tempo. Dum, do, be, do, dum, here it comes.
temperature check real quick. How's it going? Folks, folks in the, uh, we want more, we want more. Okay, cool. Um, are, do you want more chords? Do you want chords named again or are, they, are you finding them okay? Um, yeah? More chords. Does that mean more chords or does that mean yes, more chords? Or no, you're good. No, you're good. Okay, cool. Takako, do you want me to call out sections of the tune? Yes, okay. And is this tempo good for people? This faster tempo? Yes, okay. I'll keep it at that tempo and I will call out the portions of the tune. So Takako, your job is to try and find, might not even find any of the notes on your instrument, but you want to hear the parts of the tune as they repeat. Um, so starting with the A part. Here it comes, A part. Halfway through the A part. Second A part. Halfway through the second A part.
Mark, y'all. So that was a little more segmented up than we usually do, but I hope it was helpful to sort of duck in and out of things. And well, that was fun. So how did it? Yes. Uh, 